Number One Cochrane Sports Showdown is brought to you by Number One Cochrane. Go one better. And by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Have a greater hand in your health. Hey, the Pirates have won five in a row after a bad weekend in Philadelphia last week, and here they are, 17-11, first place. But what happened today on the mound was even better. Uh, you know, Will Graves, you look at this. Uh, Kingham was a guy who was drafted a long time ago. They expected big things. Today he came up, and he did something that hasn't been happened too often, and that's seven innings uh, of almost perfect baseball for his major league debut. What's your take on him, and should he stay in the rotation? Uh, uh -huh. I think he will stay at least through the end of the week. Uh, do I like his upside more than I like Joe Musgrove's upside? If you're asking me today, the answer is yes, uh, but more than Stephen Broad. I mean, I, I think more, more importantly, he was good today, but I was impressed. They got punched in the mouth in Philly. They have a doubleheader. They reschedule it, so Jamison starts the, the first game, that doubleheader. He gets rocked. It looks like everything's going to fall apart, and they kind of pull everything together. It's very, very impressive. I don't know if it's sustainable. It's impressive. And Kingham, look, maybe getting hurt, maybe having Tommy John and busting his ankle up took some of the shine off so he can surprise people instead of coming in with great expectations. I was so impressed by that kid today. His off-speed stuff, his slider, just such in such command. I, what was his percentage of first pitch strikes? He, he threw nothing but strikes all day, and he looked cool. And that's a pretty good lineup he was facing uh, in Saint, against St. Louis. I, I couldn't have been more impressed, and I give him another start. I like him better than Brawl at this point, and I like him better than Cool at this point. Uh, and they better figure out a way to get Tyone going again because his last two starts have been horrible. He's going tomorrow night. I'll feel a lot better about him if they get him going again. Brolton Cool probably profile best at this point as bullpen arms to begin with. I, always, I had a feeling, not I didn't have a feeling Kingham would, would come up and do this or anything, but he was thought highly of uh, several years ago. So I was happy to see him pay it off. I'd give him another start. And what they honestly need is more guys to do this, guys that fall off the radar a little bit who did come with a lot of expectations to suddenly come up and perform well. I'd keep him in the rotation. I think when Musgrove's ready to go, you keep both of those guys in or you hope Musgrove can prove himself. Put Brolton Cool, Cool's your seventh inning guy or something like that in the bullpen. Suddenly you look stronger. And I'll echo Will really quick. I thought, and I think a lot of people did after Philly, they were going to get crushed and I'm really impressed with the way they responded. All right, Jung Ho Gung is back in the United States. He'll be in Florida tomorrow begins. So, Ron, what are your expectations? We have to make quick answers here, but what happens with him? I have no idea. I don't know what they're thinking bringing him back, his whole history of what he has done. They went out and got a third baseman in Moran. Uh, I'm comfortable with him. I would not bring uh, Gung back. He has a work visa. It's his right to now pursue work in this country. It's their right to try to get whatever they can out of him as an investment, and I still think his upside, if he's got any of it left, is bigger than what I've seen from Moran, would fit better than Josh Harrison. Is he a menace to society when he gets behind the wheel? You better believe it, but if they keep him from doing that, I don't care if they put him on the baseball team if he's ready. I mean, for me, my expectation is that the Pirates hire an Uber driver to follow him around. That's it. And the rest of it is gravy. I think it's... It's an odd move. Uh, if he can play like he did in 2015, great. But, I mean, how, he's been out of the game, what, 16 months? Really hard to imagine him coming back and being effective. We'll find out. He's in the system. There could be a trade at the trade deadline. Could open up something. You never know. But that's going to be down the road. He begins tomorrow at Pirate City. We'll be back right after this.